Hey everyone, this is Munchie here. I'm just going to be doing a quick little video to show off my new game room that I just finished setting up yesterday. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. So first we have here Scott Pilgrim poster from the movie. Close this door. We have a Castlevania Dracolux Chronicles poster I got when I used to work at GameStop. This cool little uh, game on magnet that uh, my girlfriend Tanya's aunt got me a few years back. We go to this wall here. Got this little beware of attack turkey sign that I got from a good friend of mine, Kimmy, in high school. Little Chun-Li doll toy, whatever. Um, got the Street Fighter poster here. This was from my brother, Kyle, a few years back for Christmas. Another Street Fighter Balrog poster here. Then here we have the first of three. It's a 25th anniversary Zelda limited edition poster set that you can only get through Club Nintendo. Um, this is one of the three. It happens to be my favorite one. Basically it just shows a bunch of different links from all the different Zelda games. As you can see, I think the link from the CDI versions is missing. But um, another poster here. This is a Final Fantasy X poster that I really like. Artist is Amano. You know, he's infamous with doing Final Fantasy stuff. I really hope the remake of Final Fantasy X makes it over stateside. One of my favorite ones in the series. Probably the last one I really played. Some Metroid poster. Little Koopa. And here is... um. This is a mini Mighty Mug set that my girlfriend got me for Christmas. Um, it's a New York Comic Con exclusive. Um, I really like the box for it, so I decided to keep it in the box and put that on display. And we have this really cool uh, FLCO wall scroll. And here on top of my uh, glass shelf, we have a copy of Risk, the Metal Gear Solid edition. Um, it is still sealed. I have not opened this yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Um, it depends. Maybe I get some friends over here who are really interested and want to play it. Maybe I'll pop it open. I'm not really one for collecting stuff for value's sake. So right now it's just steel just because me just opening it would just be just to look at it. Not really play. But um, here in the top shelf of my glass cabinet here, we have much more of my Mighty Mugs. We have uh, Punisher, Frank Castle here, which is a... Uh, Toys R Us exclusive, not sure why, doesn't really make sense with the nature that is Frank Castle, but whatever. Then we have Doc Ock back there, Galactus, um, Thanos and Red Skull were uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusives a few years back, girlfriend picked those up for me a few Christmases ago. And I have Scroll here, um, Silver Surfer, and he is holding up um, a reproduction of a Game & Watch ball unit. Um, this was actually another um, Club Nintendo purchase here. This is actually the one that warrants the most points right now. It's 1,200 points, so I was able to save up for that and pick that up. And here we have some of the Gundam models that I've put together. Um, I have like 10 or 15 more of these sitting in a box waiting to be put together. Um, but with time constraints with school and work and playing fighting games competitively and stuff, it's to gamble to put these together but I do want to get some more put together so I can put them in the case here and I have some more toys here I got um, Cole from Infamous 2 Puzzle Fighter Akuma and Ken um, that's uh, that, that that black box back there is if you pre-ordered Portrait of Ruin uh, Castlevania for the DS you got the um, like a art book, a timeline, a soundtrack a little case to carry um, DS games in and a stylus. Uh, Big Daddy here. Outlaw Star. One of my favorite animes. Got a little slime there from Dragon Quest. Got some more stuff down here. Super Mile Galaxy promotional coin. Um, there's some Street Fighter toys back there. Um, some Pokemon stuff. Just some random knickknacks there. Um, stack of comic books and manga, stuff like that. Don't really know where to put them yet. Um, and here is the uh, second uh, poster from the 
25th anniversary Zelda Nintendo Club promotion here. This one is on like um, like the canvas. is like the same kind of canvas you would use to uh, paint watercolors on. It's like that textured canvas. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. But this one's pretty cool. It's got this cool little like silver tracing here of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Still playing that. I'm like 33 hours in. Almost complete with it. Um, and here we have my first bookshelf. Got an old school Simon up there that's broken. Found that at Goodwill for like two bucks. I'll try to fix it someday. Um, Sonic chilling on top of a Saturn box. Um, Iron Man 2 and War Machine. Toys R Us exclusives again, Mighty Mugs. Now uh, this um, Saturn here I got from my girlfriend's father. He sent it to me. Um, I guess he originally got it from a retailer called Zappers. I've never heard of them before. Uh, I used to shop at Electronics Boutique when I was younger. But um, I knew he had this Saturn. Um, I know he wasn't really using it too much, and I didn't have one at the time. I have three now, but I didn't have one at the time, so he sent this out to me in box, gave me a few games too, so I'll get to those later. But um, starting out here, we have just some Pez, Iron Man, Thor, box of Magic cards, um, PlayStation games. So we got a bunch here. Um, one that I wanted to talk about a little bit was uh, Vanguard Bandits, one of my favorite PS1 games here. Now, when I initially bought this back when I was in 7th um, or 8th grade, I thought it would be more like a Gundam meets Virtual Lawn kind of game. That's why me and my brother decided to pick it up. And we were pretty surprised when we came home to find out that you had these little robots on this grid-based system. It's a strategy RPG um, produced by Working Design, so the translation is definitely there. It's, it's definitely one of my favorite PS1 games. Um, you can actually check it out now. It is on the PSN network for about $9.99. Um, if you're into strategy role playing games, definitely take a look at that one. Just some other PS1 games here JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, got all the Final Fantasies, Alondra, Ray Crisis, Ray Storm, Grandia, Persona 2, Dragon Warrior 7. Wild Arms, Vandal Hearts, another great strategy role playing game. Then we have some other stuff down here. Got this cool little Simon Belmont. Um, Castlevania Chronicles, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And the two Japanese games are Dragon Ball Z Legends, my favorite out of the three Dragon Ball Z fighting games on the PS1, and Dragon Ball Final Bout. Um, I got that one when I was really into DBZ. Loved the hell out of that one, but Legends is just so much fun with the three on three battles and then we have some um, Sega CD games the only two I have Dark Wizard found that at Goodwill for like two bucks and a copy of I I actually got this from a good friend Mr. Eston Kane and his brother Chris um, traded him a metal DDR pad that I found at a Goodwill for that and some uh, PS2 stuff as well um, some Saturn games here I got Iron Storm I'm trying to collect work and design stuff so I got a long ways to go though Shining Wisdom Bugs, got that from my girlfriend's dad. Um, Night Warrior, got that from my friend Davis. Gave it to me, I guess he was sick of carrying it around. Sonic 3D Blast, Clockwork Knight, and Blazing Dragons. Um, and Mist up here. Um, and then I have uh, two Japanese Saturn games. Um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Saturn version. And I forgot how to pronounce this one, so I'll just show it. It's like Sokyu Go Rentai. It's a smup. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, I like it a lot. Only problem is, and I didn't know this before I bought it, is when using the action replay for that game, at least for that version, there's some graphical glitches. It's like one of the only games that has graphical glitches. Um, so sometimes you'll get like, um, when the words come up on the screen, they'll get stuck on the screen and stuff like that. But it usually it, it's pretty playable still. But here's my um, Turbo Graphics collection. I've been really into collecting this for the past few months now. So here's some of my U.S. titles. It's hard to see that there, but uh, it's Fantasy Zone, Bonks, Adventure, Dragon's Curse, Kadash. Then I have a bunch of Japanese shoot cards. Got Ninja Warrior, Superstar Soldier, Atomic Robo Kid, Twin V. Um, got Exile here, Cosmic Fantasy 2, Ease, and then these are. Not complete, so I put these little stupid labels on them just so it's easier to find them. Monster Layer. 
The Gate of Thunder 3 and 1. Lords of Thunder, Star Parodier. And then here's something really special. It's uh, Castlevania Rondo of Blood for the uh, PC Engine. Um, they did remake this for the um, PSP. Definitely one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Castlevania game. Um, I'm a big fan of Castlevania. It's probably my favorite video game series. Then here we just have some um, some loose cue cards. Keith Courage. Gotta have Keith Courage. Gotta have Turbo Graphics. Buddy Wolf. Bomberman 93. I won this in a raffle. It actually doesn't work, unfortunately. Um, I guess maybe something happened in shipping. But it was free, so I'll just keep it. R-Type 1 and 2 and a Tenokoi Bank. This is basically like a memory card. Allowed you to save your data from your Turbo Duo or your uh, PC Engine Duo R onto this. Um, got that pretty cheap too. Now we have uh, this really cool Metal Gear Acid promotional artwork cell. Um, some box Genesis games. A lot of these I found at Goodwill. Street Rage 2 found that complete at Goodwill for two bucks. Castlevania Bloodlines. Um, unfortunately, it's in the cardboard box. I'm looking for a clamshell one, so if anyone has one and they're willing to sell it, let me know. Um, just some loose games here. Comic Zone, Splathouse 3, Shinobi, World of Illusion. Um, some other stuff down here. A lot of stuff I got at Goodwill. Then we got some some Game Gear games. I have nothing really special besides like Street Fighter 2. My small collection of Neo Geo Pocket Color games. Metal Slug. Japanese copy of Metal Slug, King of Fighters R2, um, a loose GBA game, Sonic, my AR cards from my 3DS. Then we have some Super Nintendo stuff here. Got a copy of Mystic Quest that I found at Goodwill for like two bucks. Um, some of my boxed Super Nintendo games. So I have nice Slam Masters, Soul Blazer. Um, I'm gonna start playing these. I haven't played Soul Blazer or Illusion of Guy yet. I'm kind of waiting till I pick up a Terra Enigma repo card. Um, King of the Monsters 2 and TMNT Tournament Fighters. This is just the box. I was able to pick this up for like three bucks. Um, I need to get the game. So, just waiting to get the game. And then we have loose Super Nintendo games. Chrono Trigger, Super Castlevania. Um, what else I got here? Super Ghouls and Ghost. Uh, Wonders of East 3. Donkey Kong, Star Fox, Act Razor, UN Squadron, Contra 3. Some good ones there. Not too big of a Super Nintendo collection, though. Got to grow that out a little bit. Okay. Last shelf here is we got some Nintendo games. My only two box Nintendo games, uh, Double Dribble and Simon's Quest. Um, got this really cool Game Boy Color Pokemon Edition. Picked that up at a GameStop as well for like 10 bucks four or five years back. Now, I see them at some of the uh, used game stores I go to for like $50, $60. So, it's pretty cool. Got all the Castlevanias, um, Zelda 1, TMNT, Bond Commando, Foxadoo, uh, Karnoff, Section Z, Carry Warriors. Not too many great Nintendo games. Um, I really grew up with the Super Nintendo, so I'm really a little bit more interested in collecting that and PlayStation games. But um, I'm always into collecting all kinds of stuff. Stack of Game Boy games here. So, these are really the crappy ones that I don't have in a case. Tennis, Double Dragon, Spider-Man, but i got some decent ones. Um, a lot of Dragon Warrior games. So, Dragon Warrior 3, Dragon Warrior Monster, Dragon Warrior Monster 2. Uh, what else we got here? Kirby Dreamland, Tetris, Super Mario 2, Metroid. Funny story, um, me and my brother are little. We actually had this game, and uh, he was really hungry in lunch period one day. This was probably when we were like fourth or fifth grade, and he traded it to some kid for uh, for one of those hot pretzels, you know, the big hot soft pretzels, because he was really hungry. Back then, we weren't really collectors. We were too young to care about that kind of stuff. Um, good thing I was able to find another one. I found that at Goodwill with a Game Boy and a bunch of other games for like 10, 15 bucks, so a pretty good deal. Then we have my small N64 collection. Someone wrote on those. I got those from a thrift store as well. Um, nothing too crazy in here. It's Castlevania, Hybrid Heaven, uh, Pokemon Snap, Torak, uh, Fighter's Destiny. Really loved this game when I was really little. 
Um, used to play it with my friend um, Kyle and um, well, my brother Kyle and my friend I'm a Boogie. We used to play that a lot. Um, just some other ones. Nothing really to stand offish here. Just the typicals. F Zero, Donkey Kong, Bomberman, NBA Hang Time. Okay. And here we have a stack of like um, Femitsu magazines I was able to pick up. Um, some strategy guides. We got Vanguard Bandit strategy guide, which is pretty awesome. Picked that up recently. The uh, Skyward Sword Collector's Edition. Dark Souls strategy guide. Picked this up at Amazon for like seven bucks. This is pretty cool. It's like, uh, I got this when I worked at GameStop. It's an art book for Dynasty Warriors. Um, so it just has all kinds of pictures of all the characters from Dynasty Warriors. I was never really into the series. Um, I got the book when I was working there just because they had some extra ones. Um, so I just took it because I thought it was cool to look at. So, yeah, it's neat. Maybe I'll wind up trading it to someone who's a really big Dynasty Warriors fan. So if you're interested, let me know. Send me a message or something. Maybe we can work out a trade. Um, got some Saturn arcade sticks here that I found at Goodwill. They're pretty shitty. Um... I play competitive fighting games, so I really need something with like Sanwa parts or at least some Mitsu, but they'll get the job done for the time being. Then here is pretty cool. It's the um, Sega Activator. Basically, it's like this little circle thing that you put together and you stand in it, and it's like an infrared kind of thing. Kind of like the Wii before the Wii came out. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I was thinking of it, putting it together and like hanging it on the wall somewhere. Then here we have my, um, my desk. My laptop here. That's where I do homework, build gun the models, so on. Some more posters. That's a uh, signed Plague Win there by the artist that did that. I got that when I went to the Champions of Kamigawa um, pre release in Syracuse. That was a while back. Then we have the third and final, probably my second favorite here, of the Zelda 25th anniversary promotional posters. So it's pretty cool. Picked in some characters from Skyward Sword. Then here we have uh, my PS3 Slim and my Japanese fatty chromatic white PS3. Now the reason why I have this one here is because this one got the yellow light of death a while back. Um, I was able to fix it, open it up, um, took all the old thermal paste off, replaced that, put it back together. But I don't want to use it because I know it's not a... Um, a lifelong fix. I know it's going to die again eventually. So I'm just going to pop this one out when I want to play some um, Japanese PS1 games because it can play those. And then here you have my PS3 setup with my Asus monitor. Um, the game you're seeing here is Nier for the PS3. Definitely, I, in my opinion, I think one of the most underrated games to come out this generation. Um, it's an action adventure game with some RPG elements in it. Um, it's really awesome. The action, it, it's a little repetitive, but it's the story and the music that really gets you hooked into this game. Um, I have not completed it, but I am going to go back. It's, it's the one game that I haven't completed that I think about going back and playing the most. I really regret stop playing it. I'm not really sure why I did. I think I was, just something else came out that I was really waiting for. But really, I mean, it's super cheap now. You can get it for like $10. If you're really into dark and little deeper stories definitely pick this one up like i said the music is great the gameplay is a little repetitive but it is a really awesome game um i can't give this game praise enough for its story alone so definitely check out near if you're interested and it's really cool and then here got some more posters uh this is a, a phantom hourglass cell i think they only made like fifty thousand of these or something uh we got a guts a little plushie from berserk Probably the best anime and manga ever created. Um, definitely watch the anime. And you'll probably want to read the manga after you watch the anime. Because it ends on a big cliffhanger. But um, here we have um, this Barog poster. It's on a special paper. My girlfriend got me for this for me for Christmas a few years back. In a really cool frame. I really like that. And we have some games up here. So we have my, um, my one box Neo Geo Color game. Uh, Fire Emblem 1 for GBA is in there as well. Um, in the Super Ghouls and Ghost box, there's a copy of River City Ransom. Then I have all the Castlevanias except for the remake of the um, first one. My small 3DS collection. Um, Zelda, Mario, Mario Kart, 
Nano Salt and Shinobi. Shinobi's pretty good. It's really hard. Um, I haven't really put too much time into it. And then we have my DS collection here. Uh, Dark Spire, Mondo Sword, the Castlevanias, Bong I.O. Um, Monster Tail and Henry Hathworth are made by the same developer. They're kind of like Castlevania Metroid games. They're really good. Just try those out if you're into uh, the, the newer 50 of the Night style Castlevania games. And then we have um, Dragon Quest games, sealed copy of Chrono Trigger, some Pokemon, some Japanese games here. Um, Os Tatake Oendan is the Japanese version of Elite Beat Agents, and it's much better than Elite Beat Agents. I uh, have the second one too. Jump Ultimate Stars is basically like Smash Bros. with Shonen Jump characters. Got Bleach. Um, I started watching the anime when it first came out. Only watched the first season just because I wanted to play a fighting game on my DS and I heard that one was good. I think that anime is really overrated. But um, here we have PS2 stuff. Some Metal Gear Solid Collection, Fatal Fury, Marvel's Capcom 2, um, some more. Ring of Red is a pretty cool game. Speaking of 3, probably one of my favorite role playing games on the PS3. I mean, PS2, excuse me. Some rhythm games. Burnout. It's my girlfriend's. Um, Yakuza 2. If you like GTA but are into Japanese stuff, then you'll probably want to play that one. It's pretty cool. Castlevania. Then my only Xbox game, Curse of Darkness. I can't find a copy on the PS2, so I just bought it on Xbox. I don't even own an Xbox. Some more stuff. Holden Sphere, Nightmare Daruga, Psychonauts, probably one of the best platformers on the PS2. Then we have some PS3 games here. Have not finished Uncharted 3 yet, like six hours in, and started playing Zelda, and Zelda's more fun. Um, some fighting games. Sealed copy of Castlevania. I don't know why I haven't played it yet. Maybe I'm afraid. That it's not going to be good, so I don't want to play it. <laughs> but I heard it's decent. Then we have Demon Souls, one of the best PS3 games, and Dark Souls. Have not finished that one either. I'm like 40 hours in, stuck in Anor Lundo. Got to get out of there. My small GameCube collection. I got some more GameCube stuff down here. Ben Kato, supposed to move, smash. Then uh, my Wii collection. Got Phantom Brave, that's still sealed. Mother Wii stuff. Um, the Japanese game here is Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. This is before they decided they were going to release it here. Sealed copy of Miramasa. Sin of Punishment. Sin of Punishment is great. Definitely a game that doesn't get praise on the Wii enough. Picked it up at Target on clearance for like 12 bucks. Steal. Uh, Zack and Wiki is pretty cool puzzler game. And I got some PSP games on here. Not a big PSP fan. Um, got some games. Japanese game is Star Ocean First Departure. I have the Star Ocean First Departure PSP. Uh, and then I got the UK version of Breath of Fire 3 because it's cheaper than buying a PS1 version. I wanted to play the game again. So then we just got some DVDs back here. Uh, box set of Escaflone. Um, some random stuff. Some of my girl stuff like 8 Mile. That's not mine. Um, that's a Crank Anchors, The Punisher with Dolph Lundgren. Awesome movie. Really cheesy, but still pretty good. Enjoyed that as a kid. Um, my three Blu-rays. I don't really collect movies too much. Got District 9, Scott Pilgrim. Blade Runner Collector's Edition comes with five versions of the movie. You have Home Movies. 10th Anniversary Collection has all four seasons. Home Movies is probably my favorite show on Adult Swim. Um, the collector's Box for Skyward Sword. My small collection of PC games. I'm not a big PC gamer. Um, only game I'm really looking forward to on the PC is maybe D3 and the new uh, Counter Strike. Then we have N64 in the box. Boxes for DSi and uh, Mario Kart DS. My Legend of Zelda 3DS box. The uh, promotional Black Friday only Walmart Blue Wii my girlfriend got me for Christmas. Haven't opened it. Probably not going to open it. I just opened it just to register it. And we have my original Wii, which is in the living room right now, because I use it for Netflix. And here, got some portable stuff. So we got a Nomad, which I found at a Goodwill. Game Gear. Neo Geo Pocket Color in the box. My DS, DSi. 
three Game Boys. This cool little joystick you could put on it. Uh, my Japanese PSP. It's pretty cool. I'll open this up, show you guys. It's the Star Ocean one that showed the box earlier. But it's like a sky baby blue color. I bought that off of a friend who needed some money during college. So um, some Game Boy Pockets. Then just some books. Got some Berserk manga and rice vampire chronicles ultimate history of video games pretty cool book some more fan mitsu my dog's in the way this is cecil from final fantasy yep it's my little mini dachshund um just some more comic books down here walking dead i got those before the show came out um and then here this is my uh, classic setup so right now we got Air Zonk playing. This is Japanese version of Air Zonk. Um, got my AV switcher with all my consoles hooked up to it back here. So I just press a button, good to go. So we have a, a Nintendo, Super Nintendo 64, PS2, probably my favorite out of the bunch, the PC Duo R with the Japanese version of Airsock, and this one's modded to play US um, turbo chips or Hue cards. I have a Dreamcast there, and I got the uh, Sega Genesis Model 2 with Sega CD. I think the Sega CD just broke on me though. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a fuse issue, so I'm gonna try to fix that. And then we have another one of my um, um, Sega Saturns. This is another Model 1. So I have two Model 1s the one in the box, this one, and a Model 2. Uh, two of them I find at Goodwill. And then here is just a um, little shelf of extra controllers for all my systems, stuff like that. Nothing too fancy. Cool Gurren Lagann wall scroll that I picked up at Goodwill earlier this week for like $2. And then here, hiding behind this wall, we got Sexatina from DOA. Shitty fighting game. But, but anyway, that's going to do it for my room. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough of my game room here. Um, 3DS, Nintendo Inbox, Dark Souls Collectors, forgot to mention those. But um, yeah, I plan to do some more videos soon, maybe some pickup videos, stuff like that. It's going to be pretty hard to juggle that with school and all that stuff, but um, I'll try to get some more stuff out. If you like what you see, definitely subscribe to my page, tell your friends. Um, if you have any deals, you see anything that you're interested in in my room. Like the um, the uh, that Dynasty Warriors book that I showed, just hit me up. Uh, we'll see if we can work out a deal. Um, so I'm gonna go play some games on my day off here from work. So take it easy, everyone.